Today on Always Hungry. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is stupid. We're making a three course Super Bowl feast. We'll do a beautiful nachos, the real deal, with homemade salsa, obviously wings, Korean fried chicken style, craziest mac and cheese with bacon. Let's go, I'm starving, let's get started. First thing first, we'll get the mac and cheese out of the way. We have this beautiful year and a half aged cheddar. We have some beautiful mozzarella. And for the orange color, we have this beautiful mimolette. First thing, we're gonna make the roux. It's pretty much equal part flour and butter, so kind of hard to miss. Melt that butter, add the flour. Probably gonna do like two, three. Just really wanna cook down this uh, raw flour taste before you add the milk. That's all you're doing right now. Incorporate the cold milk in there. Make sure you whisk properly at the beginning because that's when you want to kind of avoid having any lumps in there. It's fucking saucy. All the lumps are gone. Some salt and pepper. Don't go crazy in the salt, just, you know, we're gonna put a lot of cheese in there. Piment d'espelette in there, good amount. So mix that well and see how that color is getting nice and red because of the piment d'espelette. All right, so now for the cheese. Make sure you take this wax off. And now the cheddar as well. And I'm gonna keep the mud separate because the mud's gonna be kind of like added into cubes at the end and on top. Keep that gooiness. Cheese here, cheese there. We can add this cheese right into our bechamel sauce. We're going crazy. It's a mac and cheese after all, you know? Get this covered with a lid and leave it on low heat. Oh my God, it's gonna be the cheesiest thing in the world. Not lactose intolerant friendly, that's for sure. Now for the pasta, you can use either the classic macaroni uh, here. I have some ricchio, fuck, what is it? Now for the pasta, I'm using some beautiful riccioli. Boop. Now let's do the muds. Oh, scheisse. Oh my God. <laughs> that was so sketchy. I mean, three second rules, right? Oh my God. What's wrong with this thing, bro? Oh, that was sketchy as fuck. So the moral of the story is maybe next time use the hand grater. Okay, sauce is good to go. Look at this. Woo. Oh my God. These are al dente, good to go. Now we're gonna mix this up. Oh baby, look at this. It's already looking amazing, but you know us, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Lard dance. Now this can go straight in the pan. There you go. Now we can let that fat render a little bit. I'm gonna cut some pieces of mods to go in there. Cheese cubes, cheese cubes, cheese cubes. Always more cheese. Always more cheese in my face. Bacon's popping. You're popping. This guy's popping. All right, so bacon can go right in the strainer here. Okay, it's time to put this thing in the oven. Cubes are gonna go right in the, in the mix. We're just gonna fold that in. We're gonna get those beautiful pockets of cheese. Add our beautiful lardons right in there. That's gonna be so good. Oh, mamma mia. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, this is stupid. Now, guess what? More cheese on top. Convection, bake, See you later, losers. All right, let's check on our mac and cheese. Woo! Okay. Oh my God, look at this. Isn't that fucking crazy? We still have some wings and nachos to make. Let's go. And now for the star of the show, I guess the star of my show, the chicken wings. We're gonna do it Korean style, KFC Korean fried chicken. Let's go. Drumettes and... <laughs> I'm so baked. <laughs> Baby, yo, I'm high, bro. Uh, first thing first, we'll do the brine real quick. So I have almost a liter of buttermilk here. Maple syrup, because you know, we're in Quebec. Soy sauce, black peppercorn. We're gonna add some salt. We're just gonna put some vinegar in there. There we go. One and two. Okay, I can just pour this on top. Hey Siri, how long do you brine chicken for? I put this in the fridge for at least six hours. Oh. 
Okay. Is your mic on? Oh my god. Time for the sauce. Very simple. Quarter of a cup of gochugang sauce. I'm just eyeballing everything because you know how I roll. Some maple syrup because, you know, again, we're in Quebec. Sesame oil, like a teaspoon. We'll do also some olive oil because it has a beautiful flavor and, you know, the best. There you go. Good old ketchup. Some salt as well. Some pepper. Some vinegar. And now we're going to add garlic cloves. I'm just going to grate those with a microplane. Oh, that was my nail. Garlic in. I have the tiniest whisk. It's perfect. We're good. Oh my gosh, she's spicy. Woo! We're going to toast some sesame seeds. Now time for the dry batter. Quarter cup of regular flour. Half a cup of starch. Salt and pepper in there as well. Some baking soda. Let's take our wings and we'll put them all in our dry batter. Make sure there's flour coating the whole thing. Time for a little bath. Let's go. Woo! I mean, look at this, guys. That camera, that camera. Look how beautiful and crispy that chicken wing is. Look at these bad boys. It's tossing time. Put the wings all in the bowl here. Sauce right on top like this. Oh my God, it's gonna be so good. Oh, oh. Mm -mm. Put these back on the grill here. This is beautiful, guys. Wings, mac and cheese are out of the way. Finally, we're almost there. Last step, the nachos. Let's get started, because I'm hungry. We have some fresh tortillas. We're just gonna cut these into triangle. So we have this oil at 375 Fahrenheit. And we're just gonna like kind of make it rain, mix it up. We just like those bubbles like this, and you're pretty much good to go. Et voila, and then you can just dump them on a grill like this. I'm gonna hit them with some salt right away. I like to do a bit of tahin. Oh my God, this is so good. Mmm, mmm, oh my God. Now for the salsa. We'll just cut all the vegetables first and we'll get everything on this cast iron plate to get a nice char flavor before we put it in the blender. So we'll start with the onions. I have these nice, beautiful young onions here. Big slices like that. Dry roast them like this. We got a nice char. We also have some beautiful tomatoes here. I just wanna cut these in half. Take care of our bell pepper here. A little rolly roll. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, onions are good to go. Nicely charred. We can put everything straight in our blender. Tomatoes can go right on the grill. For the heat, we have a beautiful jalapeno. We have one serrano and one chili pepper. Open this up, take some of the membrane out of there. Make it nice for the grill, you know. Let's check on those tomatoes. Nicely charred. There you go, keep that in the hot zone. Hot zone here. Now we can add our peppers all around this here, like this, like this. Man, that griddle is so hot right now. Woo, 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 woo. The Tommies are good to go. Tomato can go right in there. Put pepper on top there. It's one giant head of garlic, and we'll just cut it in half. Straight up with this on the grill, like this here. Nicely charred, guys. Oh, it's so hot. Nicely roasted garlic, perfect. This is good to go in our blender. Good to go, good to go. There's a fire on my cutting board. Garlic in there. Okay, the last peppers, nicely charred. There you go. All in there. Fresh cilantro in there. This much. Green onions in there as well for a nice little fresh onion flavor. Boom. Some fresh limes. Some salt and pepper as well. The cumin, cumin, cumin. Tajin in there because it's delicious, you know? Some olive oil. Let's go. Wow. Now it's time for the crema, the lime crema. Not too much salt in there, just some lime zest. Two, three limes. And now some black pepper, a bit of cumin again. Lime crema is done. Now it's time for assembling. So we're just gonna put the chips all over this here, put a shit load of cheese. Nachos has to be fucking cheesy, baby. Now we're gonna add our cotilla cheese on top as well. Take me to Cheeseville. Some people used to like put salsa on the chips before it went in the oven, which is absolutely insane because like everything gets soggy. Okay, nachos is good to go. Woo, perfect. All right, so this can go right here. Okay, so for garnish, we'll do our beautiful crema, kind of like all over the place like this. 
we'll do some fresh avocado dice. This all over. Chili slices and some serrano slices. Extra kick, you know? We have some beautiful green onion also on top, boom. Next up, some cilantro. So we're gonna hit our hot wings with some sesame seeds, toasted obviously. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Just go like this, make it rain. No one's escaping the sesame rain. Sesame is life. Oh my God, look at this pile of beautiful freaking Korean fried wings. The final one on top. Oh my God. And here you have it guys, our three course Super Bowl menu is ready to go. And now it's my favorite part of every single episode. It's tasting time. <laughs> Mac and cheese, absolutely. All right, let's just dig in there. Oh my God. Look how cheesy that thing is. Mmm. 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 Wow. Wow. Moving up. Nachos time. Oh wow, look at this one. Some salsa on top. Oh my God, look at this. Mmm. 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 And now, the star of the show for me. Let's dig in that wing, baby. Look at this. Oh my God. Wow. Mmm. 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 Oh my God. Mmm. It's sweet. It's spicy. Mmm. <laughs> oh my God. This is so good. And there you have it. Super Bowl feast. Mac and cheese. Chicken wings. Nachos. I hope you guys try it home. And also, if you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making all this food, leave a comment, like that video, subscribe to the channel. That's what's helping us to get all these videos out for you. And I'll see you on the next episode of Always Hungry. Skirt. <laughs>